All right now, people. So right now I got a several uh, breaking news stories right now that either happened yesterday or today. So Taliban sending women to prison. Taliban is sending Afghan women to prison for protection. So I don't know what the hell they got going on over there, but they putting the women in prison. I don't know if that's good or bad. That shit crazy as hell. I don't know what the hell they got going on going on over there, people. That shit crazy. Uh, the Taliban is sending women to jail to protect them from gender-based violence. The Taliban has limited the access of women to almost everything in the country. And according to a UN report, a woman with no male relative is considered unsafe. That shit crazy. They, they, they wilding out over there. All right. So women, us in the United States need to, uh, follow suit. I ain't talking about going to jail or nothing to protect yourself. I'm talking about, uh, you know, get you some, some weapons and whatnot, ladies, because that shit's crazy as hell right there. Now, Biden cares more about Ukraine's border than our own. That that's what it been looking like. He sure look like he care about every, Ukraine and Israel. Him and 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 don't even give a damn about the borders and shit. Let alone American people. All right. Biden will lose time to destroy the deep state. All right. We believe at Heritage that a conservative, whether it's President Trump or someone else in the field, will replace President Biden. Thank goodness. And it isn't enough for whoever that is to govern as a conservative. Tactically, they have to wake up every day and say, what part of the American administrative state am I going to destroy today? Not reform, not modify, not tweak, destroy. Fire the bureaucrats. Close agencies end, as is my pet project. The U.S. Department of Education. If Republicans don't have the backbone like Lady Thatcher, like President Reagan, Reagan to stand up to the blob and to destroy it, we will lose America. Every tactic has to be oriented, oriented around that goal. They got to get Biden out of there. All right. Now, facial recognition technology being tested at Bank of America Stadium. Now, I made a, I've been talking about this in the past. And um, this right here, they moving this right along, people. This shit moving fast, that face rec recognition shit, where you ain't even, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you can use your face for, like this, you can use your face for getting these tickets. And this is going to be actually for all around events they're, they're trying to say so this is saying some carolina panthers at sunday's game against atlanta won't have to deal with tickets at all thanks to a new partnership between bank of america stadium and verizon the stadium and wireless provider will offer facial recognition to silver club members to get them through the gates without needing uh, needing to scan a ticket the goal is to streamline the entry process which can get backed up on game day Stadium officials say the process is pretty simple. Ticket holders will walk up to a facial scanner and it will determine if they're allowed inside. If a fan's face isn't in the system, they won't be allowed in without a physical ticket to scan. Yeah, people, it's going to be problems with that. But see, this is the thing. Since we know they can use it for these games and shit, that means it's game time for real, for real. You feel me? Like, uh, yeah, they're going to be using this for a whole bunch of stuff. And I made a video about across the world, black men, they specifically said black men were being thrown in jail, were being arrested for uh, the facial uh, technology type thing, the facial recognition. And it wasn't really them, though, that they that they thought that was a bad guy. It wasn't really them. So this is going to be causing a lot of trouble. All right. All right, so Texas man shot in church parking lot, all right, yesterday in the damn church parking lot. Former Con Conyers teacher arrested, accused of forcing five-year-olds head into desk. And actually, it was two five-year-olds that that teacher forced their head into the desk. And they were special ed children as well. Conyers police announced the arrest of a now former C.J. Hicks Elementary School special education teacher. That is insane. Man shoots, kills girlfriend, 
takes off with one-year-old child before bringing kid to family. This was yesterday. Crazy. This is saying the Harris County Sheriff's Office said the couple's neighbors reported hearing gunshots before finding the woman in the apartment. Brief power outage at Con Edison substation causes disruptions across New York City. Now, I made a video the, the other day about ever since that, that movie came out that the Obamas made. It was called uh, Leave the World Behind. And it was like cyber attacks and shit like that. I'm telling you, ever since then, in another place, I forgot where it was, they had a brief outage. Now, this is another brief power outage. You know what I'm saying? This shit is crazy. I think they trying to test us. You feel me? An overnight power disruption due to an issue at a Con Edison substation caused internet outages. Flickering lights and even left some people trapped in elevators across the city. Now, the other place it did that at, I forgot what it was. I want to say California or something, but I forgot what it was. Look at, look at my other video. It says Untitled. It's in that video. Um... Now, see, this right here, that's why it's so important to have, you know, your food and water, all your necessities. You need to have that stock up on that shit because it could be a time. I've, I've always been saying that if, you, if you've if you been, you know, really paying attention to my channel and you've been on here for a while looking at me, um, like, this is some serious ass shit. Like, you need your necessities, people. You can't get around that because if this happens like this was an overnight power disruption but it came back on but what if it doesn't for a little while you know what i'm saying for days for months you feel me like it's gonna be crazy outside it's gonna be crazy when it get dark you know what i'm saying and if you don't have what you need how can you go to the store and stuff if everybody is you know what i'm saying trying to be safe you feel me so it's some weird shit going on. So y'all need to pay attention to that shit about these outages, cyber attacks and shit like that. China already said they were uh, ramping up the speed on doing cyber attacks on the United States. So check my video out. Uh, I made the other day on that. All right. So protesters block parts of Shikyo Expressway, Spring Garden in Philadelphia. Now, this is what's crazy because it's like, why are you doing this when if you want to stop them from that war over there with Gaza and Israel, you need to be over there doing that shit. Why block off the damn expressway over here? I don't get it. Protesters calling for a ceasefire in Gaza have blocked a portion of the expressway at Spring Garden Street in Center City, Philadelphia on Thursday evening. Now, see, this is the thing, though. Some of these people are getting arrested. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't understand. Why are you... <laughs> oh, like, why are you in Philly? Why aren't you in Washington, D.C.? But why are you anywhere in the United States doing that when it's not us, the people? You feel me? People trying to get to work and shit. Or whatever the case may be. They up here blocking the damn uh, fucking damn expressway when people... It could be an emergency. Somebody could be pregnant, about to have a baby. You know what I'm saying? Any damn thing. And they up here blocking the expressway. <laughs> that shit goofy as fuck. Take your ass over there to Gaza and Israel and, 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 and tell them to stop that shit there. Goofy motherfuckers. Now, one dead, one injured in shooting near campus of Georgia State University happened yesterday. That's crazy, people. Shooting by that campus one man is dead and another is in the hospital after a shooting by georgia state university early friday morning which was this morning according to atlanta police now body found in trunk of burning car on chicago south side yes that's crazy so they got a call for a car was on fire and they and they realized it was a body in the fucking trunk which that person is deceased okay it's crazy the car was found in an alley near Parnell and West 37th Street just after 2 a.m. During the fire response, crews found a body in the trunk of the car. God damn. Mother shot to death. Three children beaten by father in Houston Southside, bruh. That shit crazy. He done killed the mama and beat the shit out the kids. Damn. 
A mother was found shot to death and her three children were beaten early Friday morning, according to the Houston Police Department. Jesus Christ. Mass shooting at Memphis car wash kills two, injures three, police say. So two died and three are at the hospital. Probably fighting for their damn life. Police called the shooting a targeted attack that left two men in their early 20s dead. That's crazy. Man, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this shit. Message.